Hi everyone, Jeff Benning here. Um, a few days ago, we were fortunate enough to have model Jenny B come out. She helped us out with a couple of workshops and with our open house of the new studio that we opened. And I was fortunate enough to be able to shoot her one-on-one. -on -one. And I wanna show you uh, what we did was, uh, we did two looks and there were specific looks that we were going for uh, for both of the looks. One of them was more contrasty, black on black, and the other one was a soft light look. And we were deliberate in the way that we set up our lights, the way that we planned the look, and I'm really pleased with the way that the pictures came out. So what I have is actually some surveillance footage from my studio, and it kind of shows an overhead view of how we were setting things up and how we ran the shoot. And I just kind of want to walk through some of that with you and show you what we did, how we set stuff up, why we set stuff up the way that we did, uh, and then we'll take a look at some of the final pictures and see how things turned out. So the first one is I wanted to show you a picture of what the outfits look like or what the first outfit looks like with just regular flat lighting. And the reason I'm showing you this is to highlight the importance of using studio lights in your portraits. So the first one is, it's a beautiful picture. Uh, this is just with the ambient light. So the lighting on this is relatively flat. It's not very interesting from a lighting perspective. Uh, of course, the model is beautiful as always, but the lighting could be better. So the next picture that I wanna show you is what this same picture looks like with studio lighting applied. So here's the picture. This is actually taken one second or half a second afterwards. This, the first one was a picture that I took with um, the trigger, flash trigger turned off. This one, before she even moved, nothing moved. The only thing I did was turn my trigger on, change a couple of settings, and took this exact same picture. So real quickly, here is a before and after with no studio lights, this is a natural light shot, and here is with studio lights. So let me talk a little bit about why we lit this the way that we did, uh, our decisions that we made, and the tools that we used to light this picture. So first off, here is a background picture of the setting. So this picture is an example of with just one of the flashes turned on. This is, you can see uh, camera left. This is just the strip box. And what the purpose of the strip box is, is it's a long, um, tall light, and it just creates a, almost like a silhouette. Um, that It's a really angular light, and it just carves out um, part of her body and separates it, but it doesn't really illuminate the front side of her body. Here she's turned a little bit, so the light's raking across her, but uh, for the most part, it's just there to create um, just a bright glow behind her and separate her from the background. Now the next picture is with the umbrella lit, but not the strip box. So if you zoom in here, you can see the purpose of the umbrella is to um, illuminate Jenny, illuminate the model, um, but you can see if I zoom in here on her midsection, uh, she just kind of fades off into the background. You can't really see her form or her figure. Uh, you're kind of less guessing what's going on with her legs because they fade off into darkness. So you can't really see the uh, left side of her picture, her body on the left side of the picture. Uh, but you do have some nice soft light going across her on the right side of the picture. Now when we combine the two, this is what they look like. So here's the picture uh, in action. This is zoomed out a little bit so that you can see the lights. So here we've got uh, the model and you can see if we just zoom in here on her arm that's holding the sword um, or the scabbard you can see she's got this nice highlight that goes across her arm um, and then there's a little shadow but her body is just generally well lit um, it starts to fade off into shadow and then it gets hit by this highlight um, that's coming from the left side of the picture so now let me show you how we built this in the studio and I've got some surveillance cameras so 
Um, what we're going to be looking at now is a little time lapse video of me putting this scene together and um, getting the shoot ready. Now let me show you what we did for look number two. For look number two we were going in a totally different direction and we wanted to have a really soft look. So the way that you create soft light is by having large light sources that are close to the model. So we did that with two light sources. We got the same seven foot umbrella that we used that put that soft light across Jenny in the first picture and we combined that with a scrim and the scrim is this giant uh, fabric on the frame behind me that's a 64 square foot scrim and when you shoot through that what it does is it just illuminates a little bit it sends out a little bit of flat light across the whole scene and it takes away a little bit of contrast from the shadows so the shadows don't go completely black they're lightened up just a little bit it just lightens up the entire frame so let me show you what it looks like with just the umbrella light so here's a picture of the model and she's hit with just the umbrella and you can see that we've got pretty rapid fall off from where it hits her on the right side of the picture and goes into shadow on the left and we've got a rapid transition from light to shadow and that's with just the umbrella so now let me show you what it looks like with just the scrim so here's a picture of the model and she's lit with out the umbrella just the scrim and you can see this is not enough light to illuminate the model but all it does is just fill in the shadows just a little bit so we don't have dark shadows and now let me show you what it looks like when we combine the two and we have the soft light from the umbrella and the soft light from the scrim combined I hope this was helpful and I plan to do many more of these in the future and if you have any other questions or comments or any lighting setups that you'd like to see let me know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.